I'd like to introduce Alana Sheeran. My name is Arnell McAtee, the creator of Arnell's Originals Gluten-Free Baking Mixes. And Alana, I'm delighted to have her here with me because she has had some experience baking with the cakes and uh, she has questions she wants to pick my brain about and um, such a treat to have her. Thank you so much for having me, Arnell. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Okay, so we are going to make a lemon cake. So I like to separate my wet ingredients and my dry ingredients. So I stick my dry ingredients. So I've just added 16 ounces of the cake mix. And now I'm going to add, which happens to be three cups of flour, by the way. Most cake mixes on the market, you'll see sugar as the first ingredient. So what that tells you is that it's a little more than 50% of the mix being sugar. This is going to be less than that. Three cups of flour, two cups of sugar. And now I'm going to put in all of my wet stuff. Alana, would you mind cracking the eggs, four eggs over there? And when you're finished cracking the eggs, you can add the one half cup plus an extra tablespoon, as well as the one third cup of almond milk. Again, you can use any milk you prefer. And while you do that, I'm going to zest four lemons and save one for the lemon curd. The zest is the very outside part of the lemon, which has the oil and the flavor and the aroma. Okay, so I've zested four lemons. Now I'm gonna give them a squeeze. Okay, so for our liquid bowl, we have four extra large eggs. We have one third cup of almond milk, which you can use any milk you'd like. I chose almond milk. A half a cup of oil and one extra tablespoon. And now we need two thirds cup of lemon juice. So let's see how that goes. Okay, now I have all of my liquid ingredients, which I'm gonna give a little beat to. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to Add all the liquid to the dry. And of course, I'm going to add my zest. Well, I don't like to waste. <laughs> Why waste? That could be another bite or two, right? Exactly. We need all the goodness we can get. All right, and here's the zest from uh, four lemons. And it all goes in. And I like to just gently stir it so to avoid any big flower poops. So we stir it up. And even as I'm stirring this, because I have made so many other flavors, I see the chemical reaction happening from the baking soda and the acidity from the lemons. Just the nature of the beast. So now I'm going to spray these pans, pour it in, and we're going to bake it off. Mm -hmm. All right, one of the uh, questions that came up from Alana a few moments ago is about cupcakes. What's the best way to measure when you're spooning your cupcakes into the tin? Because I'm always, I don't know, I've never found the right, exactly the right thing to do. I usually use a, a tablespoon, but then they're not even, and then I know they don't bake quite evenly. Um, so what's your trick, Arnell? I love using these because I can get a sense of, for instance, this one would give me a decent-sized cupcake. I'd put it in the bowl, make it flat, and plop. Plop, 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 they're all the same. Mm -hmm. If I'm using those little mini cupcake pans, this would be the ticket. Ah, lemon cake. Here we go. We've taken the uh, lemon cake out of the oven and uh, the toothpick said it was done. I did cook it for 35 minutes on 350 degrees. And now I'm gonna set it aside to cool and in the interim, I'm gonna show you how to make lemon curd slash lemon custard. Well, because the lemon cake is gonna be amazing, but not quite that tart that I personally love, I thought I would show you a super easy way to make a non-dairy lemon curd or lemon custard. It's basically uh, five ingredients. Uh, so I'm just gonna add them one at a time. I'm going to add a quarter cup of lemon juice, a teaspoon of, lemons, of lemon zest, as you can see here, a quarter cup of sugar plus a tablespoon, two 
two tablespoons of coconut oil. and two egg yolks. I'm gonna bring this over to the stove and I'm gonna stir constantly, not letting it boil, but letting everything coagulate together and it'll just get nice and thick and then we remove it from the flame. So come join me. Yeah. And we are going to um, smooth out one of them Put our lemon curd slash lemon custard on there and put the other one on top so we have a nice double layer cake that will feed 30 people. Now, if you have a cake knife or a serrated edge knife, sometimes called a bread knife, it works just fine to do the carve. You really do want to carve the cake so that it's flat. Otherwise, uh, the top layer, it's all funny and it wiggles around. Because then I can do this. back and forth and I'm cutting this one because it has a little bit of a dip I'm gonna put the little extra extra topping right in my bowl which I'll eat later another neat thing you can do with leftover cake by the way is make something called a truffle or is it a trifle? It's a trifle, I think. Okay, it's a <laughs> trifle. Where you could layer fruit, lemon cake, some type of moisture. Uh, in this case, maybe it would be a whipped, uh, kind of a, a whip topping. And uh, it's pretty good. Now we're going to take out our amazing lemon curd, put it in the center, put that layer on top, and we're almost done. Be right back. Okay, so this is our lemon curd lemon custard you see how thick it is mm. it's no longer a liquid but it's now spreadable so i'm just going to put a little bit on here strategic spots it's really tart it's like a concentrated lemonade and i'm just going to give it a little spread because the center when you cut into the cake it's going to have that amazing tart, lemon tart flavor that just completes, completes the whole cake experience. I'm drooling <laughs> watching you do this. <laughs> well, in a moment, you will not be drooling. You will be chewing. Yum. Okay, I could use it all, but if I use too much, I think it's going to ooze out the sides. This one, which has a nice top, and if it didn't, I'd probably... If it was symmetrical and it was a little higher, I would leave it. If it had a dip, I would leave it and put a little extra lemon curd in the middle. If it was lopsided, I'd probably even it out. But nonetheless, I'm just going to put this right on top, slide it out, move this to the side. Mm. And there you have it with a little more on top. We're going to do it up, as they say. Alana, you're going to just have to do it first because I don't like to talk with my mouth full. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy to try. I just okay. love, I really just love that you get to be creative and make these cakes your way. I mean, that's why you call it make a cake your way, but it, it's really true. It is very true. And as I said, I am not a decorator. Nothing about this is anything that you can't completely do. All right, time to get the knife. Do the honors. I will get you a plate. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> mm. Tell how moist it is. See how. Right. Here we go. Mmm. That lemon curd just sends it over the over the top. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right. You can make it at home. So the chocolate is amazing and rich. You have such a rich chocolate flavor, and I love the nuts on top, or the nut flavor. 
Really, really, really tasty. Your chocolate cake will be as good as the cocoa you use. So just find something you really like and it's going to be perfect. Mm. Mm. Which one was that? Spice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also really moist and flavorful. This is the perfect Thanksgiving meal, like dessert. Absolutely. You can take the spice cake and you can grate carrots and make a carrot cake. Mm. Um, and I made the spice cake using the vanilla recipe with some cinnamon and cloves. Okay, last one. Last one. Vanilla with blackberry jam. Mm. All different. Mm -hmm. Really simple but a beautiful flavor combination and I can tell that you can just do anything with this. You could ice it, frost it, put edible flowers on it, yes. anything and yes. it would taste delicious. All right so once again we fuss so you can enjoy. So enjoy. Thank you and thank you Alana. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you Arnel. Subscribe now to receive gluten-free tips, tidings, and trends from Arnell. Wow.